Hi, I'm Jory, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel, Valkyrie Lace Couture. For a while now, I've wanted to create a historically inspired nightdress, so I decided to go with a simple floor length chemise with a nice little bow detail at the neck and on each sleeve. I needed a night dress that kept me fairly modest because we have overnight visitors pretty frequently and seeing as I'm a mom of two young kids I'm up and about a lot through the night and run-ins with the guests in my underwear at 2am is not ideal. And you can always use extra ruffles, right? So I added a ruffle around the neckline. And I wanted a nice little lace detail close to the hem, which would also be ruffled. For my fabric, I had an old sheet in my stash, so I took what was left of that, split it in half, down the length, and this left me with a front and a back panel. Here I have them laid on top of each other and then folded in half so that I could cut out the armholes and only have to make one cut. I kind of just eyeballed the armhole size and shape, wasn't too technical about it. Then I took them apart so that I'm left with only the back panel. And then I cut out a nice little swoop for the neckline of the back. Again, not super technical. Then I laid my back piece on top of my front piece so that I could match up the shoulders that I had cut out. I marked that and then measured from my shoulder down to the farthest point I wanted the bust to fall and then made a nice curved smooth line between those two and then cut it out. Then I pinned the front to the back at the shoulders and the side seams. I want to
wanted to challenge myself a little, er, a lot, <laughs> so I decided to hand sew the entire garment, something that I've personally never done. I used a back stitch along the sides and the shoulder seams. You can see that my stitches aren't super dainty or even or straight yet. <laughs> This was my best section. Okay, so I've gone through and I stitched along the sides here and I stitched the shoulders together and then I gathered the back just with a simple basting stitch. Now, there you can see that a little better. So the front I've left open because I want to be able to use this eventually when I have another baby because we are planning on having more and that way I can use it when I'm nursing. So this will be gathered with the ribbon. So I'm, now I'm going to take, this is just the finished edge cuff that I just cut off of that sheet that this whole thing is made out of. So I'm going to gather it along the back and then probably a little bit, just depending on how well it fits, along the front. And I'm going to pin it to the inside so that I can flip it over and then make a casing for the ribbon to go through. So now i got to go sit down and do that. i got to gather this a little bit to go on the back and then around the edges. Yeah, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, so I'm working off of lamp light here because it's nighttime now. And my overhead lights in here are terrible. But so I stitched the right sides together on this. And I just whip stitched it. And you can see the black thread from when I, where I gathered it. And I will admit that I gathered it. I did just a basting stitch with my machine because gathering it for some reason was really hurting my fingers. I'm not used to hand sewing and I had an anxiety attack this week and bit off all my fingernails. So anyway, um, that wasn't helping. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull all this black thread out so that you can't see it. And then we're going to just fold this to the front. And then I'll do a real nice, probably end up doing a back stitch or a running stitch, probably about this far down, about half inch down, to make a casing all the way around it so that it'll, when I put it on and tie the bow, it'll gather nice in the front. But before I do that, I'm going to go iron it real well because as you can see, it's kind of messy when I try to, especially on the parts that are already gathered on the back. It's real, real messy. So we're gonna iron that, flip it over, and then inch down and back stitch all the way around. You see this hooligan? The one falling asleep while eating her pizza? Yeah, at this point in the project, she wandered off with not only my thimble, but my pincushion, and I haven't been able to find either of them since. It's been like three weeks. Um, so 
The rest of this project is done on a sewing machine because I was working on a time crunch and wasn't able to get into town to get a new thimble. So I cut a ribbon the length of the neckline plus a few inches um, and then I attached a safety pin to one end and threaded it through the casing. Now to draft the sleeve. So I took the circumference of my arm plus a few inches so that it would be uber comfy and that was my sleeve width. So I'm just marking that out here. Then I measured from the top of my shoulder to where I wanted the sleeve to fall for the length. That's what I'm marking. I'm finding the center so that I make sure that that center point is right. And then marking the length.
So one of the things that I would change, that I'm going to change, is I just tacked these sleeves, the, the ribbons to the underside of the sleeve here. Okay, but as you can see, they come off rather easily. So, and to get the bows to stay, excuse me, get the bows to stay without, anyway, there's like a knot in there and then the bow. So I'm gonna tie a nice bow and then I'll tack the bow down on the top. So I've got the bottom of the nightgown. This is the lace on it, on the bottom. And then this is gonna be the ruffle. So what I've done is I've pinned it. This is twice the length of the hem. So I've pinned it at the side seams and then at center front and center back. And I have a, um, a gathering foot that I'm gonna try to put this onto this. So the gathering foot has this little slit on the side to put the fabric you'll be gathering onto, and so you slip that in there, and then the fabric that will be the ruffle will go under it. And the final product. She didn't end up quite as long as my sketch, but I don't mind because I feel like it's more comfortable when sleeping. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next week. Just waking up and let me tell you this nightgown is so comfy